Did they take it too far? Boz is messaging me right now. I could dictate with my voice. I could send a voice clip. Okay, that's cool. I'm sure that the demo went totally fine and nothing malfunctioned or went wrong. Want to try a video call? Um. Boz, WhatsApp video call. There we go. Uh oh. Well, I. Let's see what happened there. That's too bad. Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe Boz can try calling me again. I'm Ben. I work at a trend-finding tech company where we analyze millions of signals to determine the next big trends. Today, I want to talk about smart glasses. Are they future or fugazi? I was one of the first in line for the first generation Apple Watch, and I had to stop using it because the constant notifications, texts, buzzing was so distracting, I couldn't get anything done at work. For me personally, as somebody who was diagnosed with moderate to severe ADHD at a young age, the idea that text messages are just popping up in my line of vision sounds like kind of a nightmare. My opinions aside, here's why it's so important to monitor trends. The data is showing us one of two things. Either the technology is not ready or the market is not. Let's dig in and look at the five-year data. For smart glasses, we see a huge spike in September, but a massive dive in November. It's the same thing for AI glasses and the same thing for AI wearables. Search growth for smart glasses is the highest, and you can also see the reviews are hovering right around four. To be clear, when you're looking for what products to sell, 4.5 is the ideal rating. Four, 3.9 is bad. If you jump on Amazon, you can see these Echo frames are getting terrible reviews and the meta glasses are sitting at like 4.1. Pro tip, if you're looking for new products to sell or even just to buy, always take a look at the three to four star reviews because those are usually the most honest and unbiased. People say that the music quality is good, that the photos are a cool feature, but the battery life is bad with features actually dropping off when the battery gets low. So what do you think? Did they rush this one to market? Is it gonna create a bunch of tech zombies? Or is this the future that we need? Let me know what you think in the comments.